Hello and welcome to Native American Art with Mr. Rogers. We'll be looking at indigenous tribes of North Carolina and their artwork. First, let's look at the word Native American. That is a person or a thing belonging to the indigenous cultures of North America, especially those indigenous to what is now the continental U.S. And what is that word, indigenous? Well, that means the first people that came to live there. So Native Americans are basically the first people to live in the American continents. In our area, the east coast of the U.S., a lot of Native American villages look something like this. They lived in houses, not tents or teepees. And sometimes they lived in very big houses with lots of people in the family. And as times went on, their culture changed, their houses changed, and their clothes changed. But they are still here. A lot of people might not realize that Native American communities are still around here in America, and they're still practicing their culture. There used to be as many as 28 different tribes in North Carolina of indigenous people. And now we have about eight recognized tribes. So let's look a little closer. We're right here where the star is in Guilford County. And in our area, the Guilford Native American Association is kind of the only group around. But if we look a little further to this area here, that's still in our area, the Piedmont. Uh, then we also have a couple other tribes. We have the Saponi Nation and the Okanichi Band of the Saponi Nation. So they're kind of like societies that are cousins to each other. So let's look at the Saponi Nation first. This is their logo or their crest. And you can see it's got seven stars at the top and seven feathers at the bottom. And those represent part of their mythology and creation stories. The three arrowheads represent their identity. And in the middle there, there's three uh, pieces of different plants. And those represent agriculture. So here's some of the things that are going on with the Saponi Nation. They, there's quilt making. There's a tribal center. Here in North Carolina, they also have big gatherings called powwows. You can see some pictures of those. This is where they get dressed up in regalia. That's their, their fancy traditional clothes. Not everyday clothes, but fancy clothes. All right, next we have the Okanichi Band of the Saponi tribe. So like I said before, the Okanichi Band are, they're kind of like cousins to the Saponi nation, right? They're part of the bigger tribe that is Saponi but they're their own separate band. And here's some of the stuff that, uh, some of their traditional crafts. You can see here on the right, this gentleman, his name is Chief Blackfeather. And he's got some claws on his necklace. He's got some necklace made out of bone. I see seashells on his headdress and feathers. These are pretty cool. These knives are made out of stone and wood. Over here, we've got some more regalia. Similar, I see some other things here. I see some stars, bear claws again, feathers, hearts. Very cool. Ooh, and lots of beads. Lots of beads. And in the western part of the state, we have the eastern band of the Cherokee Nation. The Cherokee Nation is probably one of the largest surviving tribes in North Carolina. And as you can see in the red part of the map there, they take up uh, part of the westernmost part of the state in the mountains. Here's some of their crafts at the bottom. Weaving is a big part of their culture and wood carving. They also have powwows. And you can see oh, lots of regalia here. Lots of beads, bells, feathers. I see a turtle on one man's regalia. He's got turtles all over him. And oh, in the middle of that turtle, there's a circle that's cut into four quarters. That's interesting. So we're going to be looking at some of these symbols that we see in Native American art. 
in their clothes, in their crafts. And we'll be learning how to make beads in the style of Native American art from North Carolina. So I hope you'll join me in this adventure and I hope you'll have fun. Make sure to watch the next few videos and I hope you enjoy creating as much as I enjoyed making this lesson. Bye for now.